Okay, folks, this is Craig the Butterfly Man. I'm a monarch butterfly conservation and expert. And raising and studying monarch butterflies for about, oh, I guess 20 years now. Uh, I wanted to show you what it takes to grow one up to a thousand monarch butterflies. And here's is really all you need here this is a little pop-up you get a walmart okay now you notice i'm indoors i'm in a house okay so what happens is you can wild catch a female like i wild catch got this one she lays eggs on these you buy these little dollar pictures at walmart and you make a little that's a nine to one sugar feeder made out of this stuff over here so you can See, all this is from Walmart. You got a little, you got some uh, duct tape, orange duct tape. Now, if you just want to go out and cut a stem that you find eggs on, cut a stem. You can get these Chinette cups with lids at Walmart. Okay, and they, you put the stem in there, you trim it just before you put it in the water or under the water. It stays very healthy. I got eggs on there. You can maybe see that there yeah there's there's one of them there's two or three eggs on there you need about six big six there's another one you really need about six of these sized leaves to feed a cal caterpillar from egg until it hangs as a chrysalis okay and you pick up these little things and you'll see what they're for these little cups and this is a uh, this is that this pop up here is this here now I'm gonna to try to accompany this with some pictures for this but if you can freeze frame and see it it's just this is 15 by 15 by 25 inch high pop-up mesh hamper basket mainstay from Walmart now this is an eight-sided one in case you're out of these because a lot of people are raising butterflies in these this is a little eight-sided one but it doesn't have a lid on so you have to lay a towel across there and kind of have it come down over the edges and they'll actually you know form their chrysalis on the towel and on the top of this hamper this is the only ones they got and they're a couple dollars cheaper but anyway so these you just let them eat and eat and they'll go find a place to hang or you can put that stem with the eggs or however many stems you find with eggs on them in a hamper like this or like I said you can wild catch a female you see laying eggs and there's some information underneath this video. There's going to be a lot of information, a lot of links under this video. Um, you can put them in there and then you just keep adding stems. You can see I just went out and cut some stems, cut some stems. I usually cut them between 20 and 23 inches long. These are common milkweed stems. You can find them. You, they'll stay very fresh. If you fill these five gallon buckets half full of water and then Collect your stems, bring them home, and then trim them under the water in half a half a bucket, and then they will freshen up again. You can see they'll they'll pop right up and be fresh. And this is what the common milkweed looks like. I get these little. You can buy five of these five-gallon buckets for fifteen dollars too, because once you get the eggs laid on these, or you find eggs on this, you want to bleach them just to be on the safe side, especially if you're in Florida. Now you'll be cutting tropical milkweed stems in Florida. But what you do in these buckets is, is you put 32 ounces of, you put 32 ounces of uh, bleach, regular household bleach. This stuff right here, Walmart 92 cents for I think a half a gallon there, and. Uh, you fill it all the way to the top. If you put a quart of bleach in there and fill it all the way to the top, you have a 19 to 1 mix. Then you fill the other three with just water. You set them out right next to each other. You take these stems, you turn them upside down. You take a stem when it's full of water, like this. You turn it upside down, hold it down in the water with the eggs on it for 60 seconds you want to time it you don't want to go any longer than 60 seconds because that uh, your milkweed will your eggs will dissolve and you have to do your eggs you have to bleach your eggs within three days of them being laid 
and three to five hours after they're laid so they'll harden up but if you don't bleach them within three days they could hatch and then of course you bleach them and that that kills the caterpillars and then you you know you rinse the stem three times in the clear water you keep your hose in there and keep one, the last one running over so the water stays really clear and you put them back into one of these pitchers that's been rinsed out real good full of water and now you've got clean clean eggs on clean stems to hatch that don't have any OE on them especially in the Midwest and Northeast on common now the ones in Florida there's a lot of OE in Florida so you'll probably get them pretty clean all right but this is mostly a Midwest Northeast stuff and you start June 1st these milkweeds are usually about 18 inches to 24 inches high in the Midwest and Northeast so you can start raising your butterflies in June because the first thing you want to do is go cut yourself some milkweed and then wild catch a female that you see laying eggs on milkweed and you get one of these little nets like this at the Dollar Tree for a buck and usually they have them right around June 1st when butterfly season starts you get one of these little microscope after you after you've kept on putting stems in here and the caterpillars have eaten the milkweed you keep adding more stems until all of them have gone all the caterpillars have found their way to the top you don't need to mess with them just keep adding stems take spent stems out if you like but you you'll see all the caterpillars eventually be on top and turn to chrysalis that's when you take the pitcher out with the, the, the leaves that have been stripped and everything and you rinse the the bottom of the pop-up you rinse it out you take it outside you run the hose in through the screen and you rinse all the frass or butterfly poop out of it and now you've got a pop-up full of chrysalis and in 10 days you'll have have uh, healthy butterflies because once you bleach it and you put it in a new pop-up now if you're using your pop-up you got to do the same thing you got to put that pop-up fold it back up like this Put it in that 19 to 1 bucket of bleach and uh, for a minute or two take it out and rinse it three or four times. Switch it around in there real good because you want to make sure there's no OE. So if you don't have any OE, you didn't bring any OE in the house, then no OE can come out of the house. I mean your butterflies will come out perfectly clean. All right. So you that's that's basically how you raise them and you can take your pop-up uh, somewhere like in my yard of course I've got a yard full of I'll show you I've got a yard full of a lot of blooms here folks these are uh, all cosmos you'll see lots of butterflies lots of monarchs out there right now there's there's dozens of them flying around you can see a lot of them flying around right now these are cosmos monarchs favorite uh, Native, uh, it's native of Mexico. It's their favorite nectar plant. I've got zinnias and uh, cleomes out here, also. But these are a great. These are great. These little beds are great little beds to have in your yard. So when you release your monarchs, now I don't have to go ever looking very far for wild caught monarchs because they find their way to my yard, and I just go out and catch as many as I want. Okay. So now, if you want to raise more than a few or more than one pop up. Once you see and you figure that she's laid about 100 eggs and you see them, then you can, you can uh, do the same thing in another pop-up. You take another pop-up, you put two or three stems of uh, milkweed in there, common milkweed, let her continue laying eggs, okay? And uh, eventually, you can be like what I got going here. I've got, right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there'll probably be at least 100 chrysalis on the top of these within a week so you do the math it's probably seven eight hundred butterflies i'm raising here and all i did remember all i did was duplicate again what i did in this one hatchery now what i do of course you can see the supplies they got and i'm going to try to hook you up with the pictures so you can see these supplies so this is basically all you need the only thing that's not laying here is some scissors there's your mic. Learn about miking butterflies after they're raised for OE. It's real simple. It's a $12 microscope when you need some tape and some white paper, which is in that notebook. And just go online and, and uh, 
look in YouTube and it'll tell you how to make butterflies. Okay? Now you can see what I'm gonna show you what I do. Of course this is my this is my tow vehicle for my 25 foot trailer. I'm gonna build me a 40 footer this winter. But what I do is I have a big hatchery, folks. It's 25 foot long, seven by seven wide, seven wide and seven high. And I've got about 100 monarchs in here right now. And you can see, I put this, these milkweeds and these pitchers in here. And by tomorrow night, I'll have 100 eggs on in each one of these pitchers at least. There'll be 100 eggs. I've got monarchs in here breeding. There's a pair. There's a lot of them in here breeding. I, I don't need to just keep showing you what they are, but there's there's a lot of pairs in here breeding right now, and I have the little feeders, the whole deal. And see, then I just do the same thing. I take a picture, I put it in a pop-up. Caterpillars, I, 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 first of all, I do the 19 to 1 bleach solution, because you never know, some of these butterflies may have OE. I doubt it, they're my butterfly. But, but if you take these milkweed out of the pitcher, dip them upside down in the bleach for one minute, and then rinse them four, three or four times in one gallon. You'll have, I'll have clean stems. I'll put them in, I'll put them in the uh, pop up and add stems as they, as they uh, eat the milkweed. And eventually, I'll have, you know, at least a hundred chrysalis on top of each pop up I do. I'm right now. This will be a migration. The eggs laid on these will be the migration generation. The ones that head to Mexico. So. I'm going to probably do another video, but I've given you pretty much the gist of this thing. First of all, the thing you got to do is go out and find yourself some milkweed June 1st. And of course, you'll find it growing June, July, August, and September. And you know, you can release monarchs, you know, middle of September and they'll still make it to Mexico. I wanted to show you a good video that shows you all the supplies and, and what basically you need to use and I've got like I said I got some pictures I'll try to control un I'll try to put underneath in the information area of this video this video should say uh, will be how to raise one to one thousand uh, monarch butterflies this is a the method I'm using here has been approved by US Fish and Wildlife biologists in 2006 and these people and these biologists were butterfly experts I won't get off this right now. It's get a little long, but here, there's all the stuff about basically all you need to raise a thousand monarchs. You haven't got, I mean, you know, time you buy, you got under a hundred dollars to raise a thousand. Let me put it that way. Create a butterfly band. Have fun.